a lot of firearms instructors believe, and when I say believe, I mean on this personality level, this is how the universe works sort of thing, that there is one best way to shoot a handgun and that it is their job as a firearms instructor, nay, it is their moral responsibility to figure out what that best set of techniques is and teach it. The problem with that theory is that everyone is different. Everyone has a different body. Everyone has a different skeletal system. Everyone has a different nervous system. Everyone has a different circulatory system. And probably most importantly, everyone has a different mind. So it is highly unlikely that a pre-packaged set of techniques, a set of techniques that were developed to work for a large group of people are going to work particularly well for us, for us in particular. Now, I was actually a firearms instructor for about eight years. I was the firearms instructor at a local indoor shooting range. I have taught hundreds of people how to shoot. I never tried to teach them to shoot like me. I think that what an instructor owes new students, new shooters, is a set of techniques that is easy to understand, that is easy to execute, that will swiftly give them a decent level of performance. Now, the way that I shoot actually has a fair amount of subtlety built into it, and the way that I shoot is constantly changing. You know, if I find something that works better for me tomorrow, I'm going to be shooting that way tomorrow. You know, I don't shoot the way I did a year ago. I don't shoot the way I did five years ago. So the techniques that work for me are not necessarily going to work really well for anyone else. You know, I understand how I shoot. I understand the techniques that I use and I even understand why they work. But they are techniques that have been developed and adapted to work for me. Even if someone else were willing to practice those techniques as hard as I have, it is highly unlikely they would work as well for them because they're not me. Now, I am not saying that as a new shooter, don't go and get training. Yes, I mean, being taught how to shoot from the basic level onwards can save you an immense amount of time reinventing the wheel. Train with every different instructor that you can. Like the best unarmed martial artists are the ones who have trained in different systems, the best shooters are the ones who have been exposed to different ideas, different schools of thought, different techniques. And then, you know, we take all those disparate elements and we put them together into something that works for us. If you want to be a good shooter, and let me define good shooter, I don't mean merely competent. I mean the best you can possibly be. You want to achieve your potential. Eventually, you're going to have to start figuring it out for yourself. Now, we've all heard the saying, if you give a man a fish, you fed him for a day. If you teach a man to fish, you fed him for the rest of his life. Well, if we want to take that to its logical conclusion, 
If a man can figure out how to fish for himself, he will never be hungry again. Because at that point, we can do anything. So, get trained. Expose yourself to as many different ideas as possible. And then, start figuring it out for yourself. That's how you become a good shooter.